Do you want your small kitchen to look like this? Well, this video is for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Saira Kuri here. Today I'll share 10 easy to implement ideas to make a small kitchen look stylish and functional. This is the second part of my previous video in which I shared 10 design ideas on choosing colors, organization, mobile islands, and so much more. In this second part, we'll see other ideas that will be helpful if you plan to renew the appearance of your small kitchen. So after watching this video, don't miss the previous one for more ideas. I'll leave you the link up here and in the description below. Let's get started with today's video. Opting for cabinets with glass doors is a visual treat that creates a sense of depth and spaciousness. Show essential and beautiful pieces such as teapot, a unique set of cups, dishes, or authentic utensils. These cabinets with glass doors give a lot of originality to the kitchen while amplifying the space. However, if you implement this trick, you must stay organized. You can choose between different types of glass, a clear one that you can see through or a textured or frosted glass which also lighten the space without the need to see everything inside the cabinets. This option creates a nice contrast between the cabinets and the glass. An additional element that can be very versatile and functional in a small kitchen is a floating table that you can open and close depending on your needs. This is a multifunctional element that allows you to sit or prepare food. You can have company while cooking, it can serve as a work area or even use it as a dining table for informal occasions. In small spaces, it's essential to use the walls and vertical space. So if it is functional for you, take advantage of every inch of your kitchen by using your walls. Look how in this irregularly shaped kitchen, they use a flooring side table to take advantage of this space. It serves as an extra surface when cooking, uh, the benches fit perfectly under it, making it easy to have company help the kids with homework while you cook or have lunch without using the dining area. Another excellent idea to get the most out of a small kitchen is to use containers and pots for foods such as pasta, rice, cereals, coffee, or sugar. This helps to eliminate packages that add visual noise to the kitchen and are usually larger than necessary. Opt for glass containers with airtight seals, perfectly tall so they can take up less surface space. This radically changes any kitchen because it makes it look organized, elegant, and well-decorated. Take advantage of this to decorate your open shelves or countertop area. Another great trick if you're doing a significant renovation in your kitchen is to opt for large and light colored tiles for the floor. The larger the pieces are, the fewer joints we have, making the floor appear homogeneous and giving a sense of uniformity. If you are renovating, use large tiles for the floor and use grout in a similar tone to make the floor look like a single piece. Opting for imitation wood vinyl flooring in light shades is also an excellent alternative. This material is perfect if you want to renovate your kitchen without making significant changes, since these floors can be laid easily and quickly over the old floor and are resistant to water and humidity. Appliances are a fundamental part of any kitchen, and selecting the right size for our needs and use is essential. Choose appliances that are as small as possible and have a simple design. If you like color, you can incorporate your favorite tone with fun and modern appliances, which are becoming popular in kitchen design and nowadays are easy to find. Look how great this kitchen looks with colored appliances. The space is bright thanks to the white surfaces and the colored appliances give 
personality to the kitchen, right? Considering this idea, think about your home's color palette so everything looks cohesive. Place appliances strategically depending on how you circulate and move around the kitchen. Think about reserving a space inside your cabinets for appliances you don't use daily. It's essential to clear the workspace to have pleasant and comfortable experience while cooking. If you're renovating your kitchen or planning a new one, consider hidden spaces for some of your appliances or integrate them into the space. Integrated appliances give a cleaner, modern, and tighter look, which helps you get the most out of your kitchen while making it look modern and stylish. An important point to consider if you are planning a small kitchen from scratch is to use only a few types of material. Consider using no more than three different materials, not to saturate the space. The more visual information the kitchen has, the fuller and more complex it will feel, which is not ideal in small kitchens. Before buying and designing on a cabinet, countertop and backsplash color, collect samples and evaluate how all those textures look together. Even better, create a mood board or materials board to ensure how the kitchen will look. If you're planning to renovate your kitchen and want to create a mood board or inspiration board, I recommend watching this video on how to create the perfect mood board easily and quickly. I'll leave the link here and in the description box below. Another idea I love for a small kitchen is adding a plant or floral arrangements. Kitchens also need those details that bring movement, texture, and life to the space. Adding plants to a room is an easy way to level up your decor while purifying the air, adding a splash of color and softening straight lines. A plant on the countertop, on an open shelf, or hanging near the window can be an excellent option for your small kitchen. The English ivy, aloe, spider plant, snake plant, pothos, and basil are perfect plants for kitchens. Remember that details make a difference. So put your plants in pots and planters that add beauty and interest to the composition. We can make the kitchen organized and aesthetically pleasing by using baskets or trays made of natural materials to store things such as fruits, utensils, or towels. Elements made of natural materials give the space a lot of warmth and texture. You can find beautiful and practical options. You can use baskets above the cabinets, on open shelves, on the wall, and so on. Be creative and make these functional elements add beauty to the space. Take advantage of a rug to give a fun touch to your kitchen. You can include a rug with a pattern and colors that complement your overall style. Suppose you have dark floors in a small kitchen. You can use a lighter tone rug to brighten and illuminate the space, but remember to use the same color family to maintain uniformity. Since it's in the kitchen, make sure to choose a rug that is easy to clean. Go for uniformity by choose a single material for the floor and similar colors for cabinets, walls, and ceilings. Opt for countertops and tiles that look uniform. Monochromatic spaces, especially in soft and um, light tones, enlarge the space. Lean towards using similar colors to make the room feel unified. That doesn't mean everything should be the same color or texture. You can play with different textures and finishes, but ensure that the composition doesn't have high contrast in colors. Look at this 
kitchen. The white cabinets create uniformity with the walls and make the space feel integrated. The countertop has texture but is soft and blends very well with the white cabinets. Nothing stands out or draws attention. If they had chosen dark cabinets to create a high contrast, the kitchen would be divided or isolated from the general space because our brain tends to separate elements with different characteristics such as color, shapes, and texture. Uniformity is a basic role to achieve a feeling of spaciousness. Remember to watch part one of this video to find out 10 more easy to implement ideas that I'm sure it will be very helpful if you're renovating or decorating your small kitchen. I'll leave the link up here and in the description box below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss the upcoming design lessons. This is all for today, guys. Have a beautiful week. See you in the next one.